Across universities, the game has changed. So what are the new rules and who are the players? The CCA Educor's 2011 conference on IT in higher education explored these and other fascinating questions. Held at Sydney's Darling Harbour, the three-day symposium enthralled academics and IT professionals from universities across Australia and around the world. Preceding the conference, delegates enjoyed an afternoon harbour cruise on a tall ship. It was a chance to see a beautiful city and meet their peers. With six keynote speakers and over 90 presentations, it was a stimulating and inspiring event with hundreds of delegates and scores of exhibitors. A commerce like this, I think, works because you have individuals there who come to do things differently. You wouldn't come to our commerces unless you wanted to do things differently tomorrow as you did yesterday. So it's, it's the interaction with the people which is driven by the technology which causes the change. Ideas and concepts were expressed and analysed, including plenty of networking among colleagues who shared their stories and their visions. We need to be looking forward because everything's changing so quickly. The more um, ideas you can get about how to um, get a handle on what's just around the corner is uh, really important, so um, that's been the value of the keynote speakers today. Central to the conference was a debate over monumental changes to learning and teaching. The very survival of the university was thrown into question. How do they adapt to the changes happening in research, resourcing and technology, and what happens if they don't? Imagine in 2016, the average age of a gamer is 50. International keynote speakers included Brian Alexander, a leading thinker on IT and liberal arts from Vermont, esteemed academic author Richard Katz, also from the US, and Dr. Diana Oblinger. I think there's very positive energy when people share the information and you can pick up on ideas that you wouldn't have had otherwise. So I've enjoyed that a great deal. Mackenzie Walk held court claiming students have stepped through the looking glass, wondering why educators still use ancient devices like email. Uh, the keynote speakers in particular have been excellent and uh, yeah, they've exceeded my expectations so I'm, I'm pretty happy. Other thought-provoking topics such as cloud computing, virtualization, the future of libraries and collaboration were also explored. One of the big things that have come out is this idea of collaboration. Um, it's a bit of a foreign idea because I think it's been successfully implemented mostly in overseas universities and US universities but that idea has been, well, this conference anyway, brought to Australia. And I think it's been a, quite a tremendous reaction. And there was lively discussion over this debate. The internet uh, is, in fact, making us stupid. I see the internet as being an incredible saviour. In keeping with its state-of-the-art theme, the conference was mobile-enabled and participants were actually asked to leave their mobile phones switched on. Those with smart devices could access a conference program, speaker biographies, and interactive maps of the venue. They could also participate in online discussions, polls, and surveys. Delegates logged off for some well-deserved festivities at the conference ball with delicious cuisine, fine wine, and an electrifying atmosphere. And you'll come back rejuvenated uh, with heaps of new ideas and you'll be inspiring the people that you lead. The conference is held every two years with the next one taking place in Hobart in 2013. Anybody who hasn't been to Tasmania should go. I haven't been and I will jump at the opportunity and um, yeah, you, you just got to be there. There will be so many new technological developments. Uh, think about tablet computing, for example. Think about gamification. Think about social media. Think about course management systems. Think about the fate of open source. Think about how the global economy impacts all of this. I mean, things will change rapidly. Get there any which way you can. Um, it's definitely worthwhile. More worthwhile, perhaps, when they've recovered from this one.